Hello there, this is Tech Enthusiast, and in today's video, we are going to look at the best Windows 10 toolbox called Microsoft Power Toys. Meanwhile, make sure you are subscribed to the channel because I'm uploading daily tech videos. And also, turn on notifications and goal for today's video is to destroy that like button. So smash that like button and also share video with your friends on all social media. And if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, Monte Enthusiast. And with all that being said, let's continue with the topics. You may also question yourself what actually is Microsoft Power Toys. Microsoft Power Toys is a set of utilities for power users to tune and streamline their Windows 10 experience for greater productivity. First tool on the list is called Color Picker. First tool on the list is Color Picker. Color Picker is a system-wide color selection tool for Windows 10 that enables you to pick colors from any currently running application and automatically copies it into a configurable format to your clipboard. To start using Color Picker, you need to first make sure it is enabled in the Power Toy settings. Once enabled, you can choose one of the following three behaviors to be executed when launching Color Picker with the activation shortcut Windows key Shift plus C. As you can see here on the screen, you can actually use this shortcut called Activate Color Picker with Windows Shift plus C. As you can see, you can activate three options. Color Picker with Editor Mode enabled, which opens Color Picker after selecting a color, the editor is opened and the selected color is copied into the clipboard. Then there is Editor Mode, which opens Editor directly from here. You can also choose a color from the history fine-tune a selected color or capture a new color with by opening the color picker. And then there is also color picker only, which opens color picker only and the selected color will be copied into the clipboard. So, after the color picker is activated, hover your mouse cursor over the color you would like to copy and left-click on the mouse button to select a color. If you want to see the area around your cursor in more detail, scroll up to zoom in. The copied color will be stored in your clipboard in the format that is configured in the settings. So, if I go to the desktop right now and I press uh, Windows key plus C plus C, it should open color picker. And now you can see you can copy any color on your desktop or where your cursor actually is. So. If I want to copy this color right there, just left click on the mouse and this color should be copied into your clipboard. Let's see, paste that right there and here we go. This color is now copied into the notepad. And then you might ask yourself, what is the point of editor then? So the editor lets you see the history of picked colors, which is I believe up to 20 and copy the representation in any predefined string format. You can also configure what color formats are visible in the editor, along with the order that they appear. This configuration can be found in Power Toy settings as shown here. So if I enable color picker with editor mode enabled like so, and go to the desktop and press shortcut key for the color picker, which is uh, Windows key plus shift plus C, and then it opens up again color picker and now I copy this text and now here you can see this is the editor window. The editor also allows you to fine tune any picked color or get a new similar color. For example, editor previews different shades of currently selected color, two lighter and two darker ones. So uh, on the screen we can currently see actually uh, our selected color which is this one on the hex pop-up right there and you can see these are the two darker shades of this color and these are the two lighter shades. Clicking on any of those alternative color shades will add the selection to the history of picked colors which appears on the top of the colors history list. Color in the middle represents your currently selected color from the colors history. By clicking on it the fine tuning configuration control will appear. That will let you change hue or RGB values of the current color. Pressing OK will add newly configured color into the color's history. 
But there are also some limitations. For example, color picker can't be displayed on top of the start menu or action center. And if currently focused application was started with administration permissions, the color picker activation shortcut will not work unless PowerToyce was also started with an administration permissions. So, for example, if I go to the action center right there and pick and activate the color picker mode, which is Windows key plus Shift plus C, and you can see that this doesn't work. Let's continue with the second tool and my personal favorite, which is called Fancy Zones. Fancy Zones is a window manager utility for arranging and snapping windows into efficient layouts to improve the speed of your workflow and restore layouts quickly. Fancy Zones allows the user to define a set of window locations for a desktop that are drag targets for windows. When the user drags a window into a zone, the window is resized and repositioned to fill that zone. So, to get started using Fancy Zones, you need to enable the utility in PowerToy settings and then invoke the Fancy Zones Editor UI. So, launch the Zones Editor using the button on the PowerToy settings menu or pressing your Fancy Zone shortcut key. I also highly recommend you to run PowerToys with administration permissions, because this will clear any disruption that might occur without administration permissions. So if we launch right there, launch layout editor, it should pop up and now we can edit any of these styles. For example, in my columns right there, I can click this uh, pencil and add another uh, zone right there and click save. And now we can close this one. When you first launch Fancy Zones, the zone editor presents a list of layouts that can be adjusted by how many windows are on monitor. Choosing a layout shows a preview of that layout on the monitor. The selected layout is applied automatically. If there are multiple displays in use, the editor will detect the available monitors and display them for the user to choose between. The chosen monitor will then be target of the selected layout. The show space around zones toggle enables you to determine sort of border or margin will surround each fancy zone window. The space around zones field enables you to set a custom value for how wide the border will be. The zones editor also supports creating and saving custom layouts. Select the plus create new layout button at the bottom right. There are the two ways to create custom layouts. Grid layout and canvas layout. These can also be thought of as subtractive and additive models. For any further explanation, the subtractive grid model starts with a three column grid and allows zones to be created by splitting and merging zones, resizing the gutter between zones as desired. To merge two zones, select and hold the left mouse button and drag the mouse until a second zone is selected, then release the button and pop-up menu will show up. It is also possible to snap a window to two or more zones, so if two zones are adjunct, and window can be snapped to the sum of their area. When the mouse cursor is near, the common edge of two zones, both zones are activated simultaneously, allowing you to drop the window into both zones. It is also possible to snap to any number of zones. First drag the window until one zone is activated, then press and hold the control key while dragging the window to select multiple zones. So, I will show you uh, an example. Let's open up the File Explorer, then uh, Google Chrome, Notepad and let's say another Notepad file. Now we'll go to the desktop and press the hold shift key and then click on the zone and put it on the which zone you would like. So let's say the first one and then same step as for the first uh, zone, let's go to the second and then the notepad uh, here on the third and as well uh, the second notepad window into the fourth zone. So as you can see, this is our layout that we created in the Fancy Zones editor. Next tool is Preview Pane, which is an existing feature in the Windows File Explorer, which shows a lightweight reach read only preview of the file's contents in the Views Reading Pane. PowerToys adds two extensions, as you can see here, there is SFG and Markdown or MD. 
to enable first ensure that enable SFG preview, enable SFG thumbnails and enable markdown preview are all set to on in the power toy settings. Next, uh, we will open the file explorer, then we will go to the uh, downloads folder and then we go to the view and you can see here preview pane is enabled. Now if we have a SFG file right there and click on it, you can see this is the preview of this file as well as for the MD file, click on that and now you can see preview of this file as well. Next tool is image resizer tool, which is a Windows shell extension for bulk image resizing. After installing PowerToys, right click on the one or more selected image files in File Explorer and then select resize pictures from the menu. Image resizer also allows you to resize images by dragging and dropping your selected files with the right mouse button. This allows you to quickly save your resized pictures in another folder. And also, inside the Power Toys Image Resizer tab, as you can see here, you can configure the following settings. Add new preset sizes, each size can be configured as fill, fit or stretch. The dimension to be used for resizing can also be configured as centimeters, inches, percent and pixels. The fallback encoder is used when the file cannot be saved in its original format. For example, the Windows Meta file VMF image format has a decoder to read the image but no encoder to write a new image. In this case, the image cannot be saved in its original format. Image Resizer enables you to specify what format the fallback encoder will use, such as PNG, JPEG, TIFF, BMP, GIF or even VM Photo settings, which is also not a file type conversion tool, but only works as a fallback for unsupported file formats. So for example, here I will go to the file explorer, then go to the, go to the pictures and this is also my wallpaper that I'm currently using. Right click on this and click on the resize pictures. Now this is also this tool that I was talking about. We can then uh, uh, resize this image, let's say for go for the phone version and let, uh, let's get uh, a resize option and uh, enable this ignore the orientation of pictures and click resize. And you can see on this picture that dimensions were actually changed, which was also our goal. Next tool is Keyboard Manager Utility, which enables you to red find keys on your keyboard. For example, you can exchange the letter A for the letter B on your keyboard. And when you click your A key, B will display. You can also exchange shortcut key combinations. For example, the shortcut key Control plus C will copy text into Microsoft Word. With PowerToys Keyboard Manager Utility, you can exchange that shortcut. Now we'll copy text. If you do not specify a target application in PowerToys Keyboard Manager, the shortcut exchange will be applied globally across Windows. PowerToys Keyboard Manager must be enabled with the PowerToys running in the background for remapped keys and shortcuts to be applied. If PowerToys is not running, key remapping will no longer be applied. For example, I will show you here how to remap a key. So click on the remap a key button, then press plus, and now we will type here F. Click OK, and then we will uh, select another key for this uh, F key. So let's say J. Now uh, don't forget here to press that OK button. If you don't press OK button and just let's say cross or, uh, or cancel, it wouldn't work. So press OK and click continue anyway. Let's go to the notepad and press right there F. Now as you can see, it's shown J as we change in the keyword manager tool. Next tool is power rename tool, which is a bulk renaming tool that enables you to modify the file names of a large number of files perform a search and replace on a targeted section of file names, perform a regular expression rename on multiple files, check expected rename results in a preview window before finalizing a bulk rename, and undo rename operation after it is completed. So to test this tool out, we will go to the file explorer again, open up downloads and uh, let's drag uh, this box right there. 
and click on the rename and let's say uh, let's say eight and press enter and voila it changes actually uh, the name of both files the next tool is called power toys run which is a quick launcher for power users that contains some additional features without sacrificing performance it is open source and modular for additional plugins. To use PowerToys Run, select Alt plus Space and start typing. There are some requirements though. You need to be on Windows 10 version 1903 or higher and after installing, PowerToys must be enabled and running in the background for this tool to work. PowerToys Run features include options such as searching for applications, folders or files, searching for running processes, which is previously known as Window Walker, clickable buttons with keyboard shortcuts like Open as Administrator or Open Containing Folder. It can also invoke Shell plugin, for example, Shell Startup will open the Window Startup folder. It can also do a simple calculation. So, for example, we will go right here and press Alt plus Space and uh, let's type, for example, a, a simple calculation, let's say 5 plus 5 and now here you can see it shows uh, a answer which is 10. Uh, let's try also we will try let's say shell start up click that press enter and now we can see which programs are actually starting up in this folder and we can also try this program to open uh, a another program let's say, program let's say chrome and press enter and then it opens a Chrome. So the last tool is called Windows Key Shortcut Wide, which uses Power Toys to display common keyboard shortcuts that uses Windows Key. Press and hold Windows Key for about one second, and overlay will appear showing keyboard shortcuts that use the Windows Key, including common Windows shortcuts, shortcuts for changing the position of the active window, as well as taskbar shortcuts. Windows key keyboard shortcuts can be used while the guide is being shown and the result of those shortcuts. Active window moved, arrow shortcut behavior changes, etc. will be displayed in the guide. Releasing the Windows key will make the overlay disappear. Tapping the Windows key will display the Windows start menu. Let's try that. Let's, let's uh, uh, press and hold Windows key. Now you can see these are all the the new shortcuts let's say press a and it opens an action center that's really great and then just tapping it it opens windows start menu and on that note thank you all for watching today's video consider subscribing because this really helps the channel out turn on notifications and today's goal is to destroy that like button on this video so if you haven't already smack that like button and follow me on twitter one tech enthusiast and with all that being said i see you all in the next video peace